Did you know that each year the USDA spends about 200 to 400 million dollars in discretionary funding to purchase goods from farms in response to market and political conditions? Discretionary spending doesn't have to meet program goals or fit into funding formulas, but it does tell us a lot about the health of different animal agriculture sectors and their influence on the USDA. To better understand this program, researchers from the Greenfield Project examined 10 years of data and what they found was striking. Between 2010 and 2019, the USDA spent almost $2.6 billion on surplus commodities. About two in every five dollars, or 41%, went to animal agriculture, with outlays for animal products almost twice as high on average as those for fruits and vegetables. The chicken industry received the most support in terms of both frequency and of dollar purchases. The effect of these purchases is not outlined in detail, but it no doubt helped to keep these industries afloat and maintain economic stability. The study also found that surplus dollars often funded industries that are generally not profitable. For example, the dairy industry became eligible for surplus program support in 2014 and has received payments almost every year since. This is a problem because these payments are not designed to be an extended form of support, never mind a backdoor subsidy. In 2020, when the coronavirus pandemic struck, the USDA stepped in with economic support through the Food Assistance Program. Rather than providing broad relief, however, the top 1% of the largest agribusinesses in the US received 22% of all payments, compared with 23% for the bottom 80% of producers. In 2021, another support program helped to compensate meat producers who were forced to kill millions of animals because they could not bring them to market. Supply chain disruptions were devastating for animal welfare, and yet farmers still received assistance no matter how inhumane their culling methods. What can advocates like you do to help? The authors suggest that the USDA may be violating statutory funding caps with some of their payments to animal agriculture industries. What's more, the USDA actively works with entities seeking to receive payments, but there seems to be no process in place to ensure that funds are distributed fairly. These are just two leverage points where advocates could make a difference, whether that's through supporting advocacy groups who are lobbying for change, petitioning, campaigning to their local representatives, and more. Fruit and vegetable farmers should have an equal opportunity for government support, and advocates can help make the true cost of animal products known in the process. Thank you to VegFund for sponsoring this video.